This Mother's Day is especially significant for me because it's the first Mother's Day that I am celebrating since coming out as trans and starting HRT. Um, so it's, it's kind of special. Uh, at church this Sunday morning, they gave all the moms carnations and letters saying Happy Mother's Day, and I was happy, happy to be a recipient of one of those. Um, I took it home and showed my daughter, and, uh, who is eight, and she said, but you're not a mom. Um, I said, well, yes, I am. She said, no, you're not. And the reason she said that is because my wife doesn't allow her to call me mom. Um, I'm known as parent. So not dad, not mom, just parent, which seems kind of, uh, makes me sad. I wish she would call me mom, but she doesn't. So I said to her, well, I'm a mom, whether you acknowledge that or not, I am still a mom. And to all of those who are going through a similar situation, um, I see you, you are valid. If you are trans uh, female and have kids, you're a mom. Um, you're no less a mom than anyone else, okay? So insist upon your identity. If you are a mom, you are valid. That is who you are. And um, I hope things change for me. But right now, that's just where my family is at. So from the bottom of my heart, I wish you all a happy and love-filled Mother's Day. Take care, my friends. Okay, first of all, do not be upset at your ex-wife or your child for living in reality and refusing to live in the Twilight Zone or Oz or wherever you guys are coming from. Second of all, the, you obviously have no idea what it takes to be a mother. Otherwise, you would realize that it takes more than just putting on a costume. I'm sorry that you're going through whatever it is you're going through. But the fact that you're just going to put on your costume and say you're now the mother, rather than get help at whatever issues you're going through, is actually kind of disgusting. You need to do better. Shame on you.